Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another reaction video to the channel. Oh my god, there's an ant in here. What the freak? There's an ant. Oh my god, it's a gigantic ant. Alright. Killed it. There we go. Today, we are going to be reacting to the two disturbing horror stories. So that means there's two videos in one. Two uh, stories in one video. And um, this is a uh, part number 24. I think it was 24. I think, yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's 24. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 25. But I remember that I uploaded the um, 23D one the, uh, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And I um, also got my new um, new Minecraft episode. Well, guys, when you check that out, um, you just go to my channel and. Um, yeah, and, and also it'll be the end of the video, you'll just see, I'll just put the last part, uh, so stay tuned to the end of the video. So today we're going to be acting to two disturbing horror stories, so we're going to get comfy, so let's get started. My hair's getting longer, I, I mean, I haven't been out for like, maybe like a week, but yeah, let's get started. This is from Lom Arts, by the way. I'll put a link in the description of the channel of Lom Arts. Over the weekend, in about the 15 video. co-workers and myself had That's our company trip to the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park. Known for being Stephen King's inspiration for Stephen The Shining. King? Whoa! We took an 8 p.m. ghost what tour where we joined about 15 other people to get guided around the property and told stories about its history and creepy things that are said to have happened. We were told to take a lot of pictures, I'm sure to try and capture orbs or ghosts. Many orbs. green orbs were caught in pictures, but I don't think anything is as creepy as this photo taken by my co I think this, I remember this A little guy. girl in a hot pink dress who was definitely not on our tour. And apparently, years ago, a young girl who was 12 to 13 by the name of Lucy was squatting in the basement of the concert hall, which is where this photo was taken. And she was discovered upon plans to begin some construction. She was forced to leave, and the night got below freezing. So she froze oh. to death. Oh my goodness. Everyone on my tour has vouched that this girl was not on our tour. I mean, who I wouldn't remember, remember someone story. wearing hot like pink? The, the man one? pictured is our tour guide. No one would have been in front of him. I am convinced that this is the ghost of Lucy. Just one more added note, though I doubt anyone would believe me. But there was only one time throughout the tour where I felt any strange energy or feeling. So the girl already and it died. was right and there, the headed down to the basement of the concert hall. The girl already died, and then he took the picture. That's so disturbing. <laughs> what is this? Four! I know that game. What's that? Plain white sauce? Plain white sauce makes your teeth go gray! Yeah. Hi, I'm Billy Swift and I'm here to tell you about Quid. Quid is an awesome app where you can collect stickers, oh, gifts, this. pop figures, and so much cool. more for free. Quid has tons of stickers from shows like Rick and Morty, Family Guy, and Archer. Oh, you can even get Lava like... Art stickers. Didn't get the stickers um, you wanted? No problem! Station? Trade with other users and try to complete sets to get special awards. Get free coins every few hours to keep your collection growing. No, if you run a feature of Quid is the Shelfie, where you create scenes with your collectible. Are we that. done here? It was a Tuesday night when... Right. Good. So let's go. This happened a few weeks ago when I was it's walking like home from school, like, excited that my freshman too? year was coming to an end. It was a Tuesday night when I was turning in my last essay for history. I left it to the last minute and the teacher actually made me complete it before I could go home. I hated my teacher for that. Around 8 p.m. I had finished that goddamn essay and was walking home. I finished it. The rain had stopped and there was a beautiful sunset. Suddenly, I noticed something. There was a red 2016 Toyota Camry right behind me. I got goosebumps thinking it was following me. I didn't look back and started walking in my apartment's direction. I wanted to go to a busy road to feel safer. Just then, the car sped up, stopping right next to me. A middle-aged man asked me where I was headed and suggested to drop me off. I said no thanks, but the man wouldn't leave 
and insisted. Man! I wanted to tell the man to just fuck That's off, but I took time? off running instead. Oh, I heard a loud noise, and at the same time felt something I can only describe as a sharp vibration hitting my flesh. Oh, God, God. I fell Ooh. to the ground not knowing what happened. Out of adrenaline, I was about to get up and run again as I felt a heavy arm grab me by the mouth. Then the pain set in. I realized that I was shot. There was oh another man goodness. next to him that searched my pockets. He grabbed my phone and threw it on the ground as he tied my legs and taped my mouth. They quickly Wait, put me into like the trunk of their car the and then started driving. I, the I could feel that we were going very fast yeah, and I'm sure that we hadn't like stopped at all I've for a good 30 thumbnail? minutes. I was feeling yeah. my blood soaking into my shirt, which scared me the most. I was certain that I was going to die. I was thinking about my parents and what they would feel when they heard that I was missing. Then the car came to a stop. By some miracle, I heard a police officer asking for IDs and driver's licenses. I wanted to yell for help, but nothing came out. Just then, I heard three to four gunshots. I heard another cop yelling. Man down! Man down! Shot fired! I was begging the cop to find me. Then I heard the cop searching the car. I was feeling joy as my pain was growing worse. Seconds felt like hours. The officer then opened the car's trunk and suddenly started firing at me out of a fight or flight response. Thankfully, the bullets missed. The officer quickly caught up to the fact that I was kidnapped and injured. He called for backup immediately, Couldn't and it arrived in minutes. They placed the injured officer onto a gurney and drove off in an ambulance. Finally, when the scene was safe, they called another ambulance for me. I woke up in the hospital. The news media was everywhere. I was fine after a few days, but later learned that the officer that was shot didn't make it. I don't know if those men are still alive, rotting away in a prison for killing an officer. I don't want to know what would have happened if those officers had stopped the car. Is that a cameo from the rotting away in a prison for killing an officer? The night shift. Did you guys remember that? The night shift horror story that react I reacted to. But that is the same 7 Eleven. And that is the same worker. Don't want to know Wait, this is what would have happened if those officers hadn't stopped the car. I really like my words. Is end? So maybe we're kind of like, kind of like this. Yo! Something, someone Thank you to Quinn for spawn. So thank you guys uh, for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction video to the channel. And, um, uh... And make sure to subscribe and like and turn on notifications. Put in the comments down below. Hashtag notification clutch. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.